时候。Uh, my teacher called me today, and instructed me to apply for college. Oh. Uh, what did he say? He recommended BJTU as my first choice. I told him I'll discuss it with you. That's good But, news, uh, right? That's your dream university, isn't it? Well, I support you. Go. Since you're both home today. I like to discuss it with you guys. Yes, let's discuss it. I've been thinking about it recently. Well, I think I still want to study abroad. Ah, uh, did Cho, Wagwang. Come to you again? He did come to me, but I've considered it, and I think it would be good. Besides, my mentor said, if conditions allow, it's good for me to study abroad. Why would you even consider studying abroad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You said you wanted to go with Ling Xiao to a college in Beijing, right? Uh huh. But it might be better to study abroad. I didn't consider it before because we really can't afford it. But now I think studying abroad does more good than harm. First, I won't need to pay for my tuition in college. It will ease a lot of burdens. Huh? It's not a burden at all. Why do you say that? We can, we can afford your tuition. But you work so hard. Two days ago, you fell ill. That was because of the renovation. I was tired. Your lumbar And... disc gives you trouble. And your shoulders? You need to dough every day. And though you ache all over, you just use plasters. All adults got those types of problems, huh? They're all working hard. You know, it's not just me, your dad, other parents too. But I too. don't want you, you are... to work so hard. I don't want you to be so tired. If you can, hire another help and get some rest. Wherever I am, I'd be. I'd feel relieved. Dad, I really need it. Let me go, please. Actually, there's no difference whether I study here in China or not. I'll be back once I graduate. You 
You know, I never thought of that before today. You thought uh, what? So it's right. Look, studying abroad can only do good. It'll be totally harmless, you agree? It's a good thing to study abroad. I mean, um, how could we not agree on it, right? Huh? <laughs> right, Hai Chao? <laughs> Hai Chao. Zhu Chou's waiting for your answer. Huh? Choke on your food. Your dad just doesn't want you to be too far from him. He's actually happy about your decision. Hurry up and eat the pie, hurry. He put a lot of oil. It tastes great, huh? Once you go abroad, you can't taste it even if you want to. Your brother starting to fill the application forms? Yeah. Li Xiao's choice is PKU and Zicho's choice is BJTU. They will surely make it. <laughs> anyway, thank God his mother had an accident after the exam. Or Ling Xiao would definitely be affected. <sighs> How's his mother now? Ling Xiao said she's awakened now. He didn't even dare to tell her that her husband and her mother have passed away. They're hiding it from her. They can hide something here for now. But how could they hide it forever? Yeah, you're right, they can. So she got emotional and couldn't accept it. Of course, no one can take the blow. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I picked a pair of shoes for my two brothers, but my money is not enough. I need 200 more. Can you lend me some promise? I'll pay you back. How about this? It's Ling Xiao's birthday anyway. I'll buy the shoes for him. And you buy one pair for Ho Zhu Cho to celebrate his graduation. No, I have to buy it all by myself. That won't do. If Ling Xiao finds out, I'll be dead. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's go. Let's Come go. Come on. <laughs> Going to the site. Okay. Dad? Uh, can you two go get some groceries? We're running out of food. Okay. Have fun at home. Did you guys quarrel? No, we didn't. Are you sure? Then why am I feeling awkward? Zucho will tell you about it. Or we can wait until Ling Xiao's back. Were you talking about Ling Xiao's birthday? Let's celebrate when he comes back. Hmm. We'll see then. I'm leaving now. <sighs> what gift 
should I buy for Ling Xiao? I really have no idea. Uh, how about a pair of sneakers for him? Good. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My son, happy birthday. I wish you good health, peace, and happiness. Ling Xiao, happy birthday. Take care of yourself and don't get too tired. We will make up for your birthday when you come home. Ling Xiao, happy birthday. Come back early. Li Zhenzhen misses you very bad. My dearest brother Ling Xiao, happy birthday! Thank you for coming into this world 18 years ago and becoming my brother. I love you so, so much. I will love you forever until the end of time. Love you, love you! Be happy! Mother's not well and you still can laugh. I have to go back in two days. I've discussed it with Uncle Jin. He'll find a nurse. He'll also come and take care of your mom after work. Your term won't start until September. In the meantime, you should stay here and take care of her. Someone has to be with her. I have to go back in two days. Your dad wants you back? No. I've been away for too long. I miss my sister. You... Your mother's in a bad situation. You still want to go back to see your sister? She wept so bitterly, huh? That they had to give her tranquilizers! Her mother knows her child best indeed. When you were little, Yunyun died. Because of you. But you didn't shed a single tear. When your mom abandoned you, the whole family blamed her! now appears that your mom was right all along. You're such a cold-hearted person. Why'd you turn off the lights? Why are you still up? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear brother. Happy birthday to you. Brother, make a wish. I never make wishes on my birthday. Why is that? Because... Because I don't believe in miracles. So I don't believe there's a God. There is! He lives in heaven and it's far away from us. You must make the wish loudly in your heart so he can hear it. Really? Mmm! Have you wished loudly in your heart? Blow out the candle! I'm sorry, brother. I went to the cake shop too late, so I only got a small piece. It's okay. Maybe I'm destined to get only a small piece. No, you're not. Let's eat the cake. I'll go get the forks. I heard that people grow up in an instant. Which instant? Get 
off me, it's hot. No, I won't. I want to hug you. I don't feel hot. I don't care. Come on, get off me. No, 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 Quickly. no way. Sweet girl. Oh. Just look at her. She never behaved like a girl. Oh, eat the shrimp, okay? Thanks, Dad. And pork ribs. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you look skinny. Uh, your dad hasn't come back for two days. He must be on a stakeout. Did Sucho go out? Uh, yes. At his friend's place. I haven't seen him for two days. He got wild. Enough of that. If your brother wasn't back, you'd be at Chi Ming Ye's place. <laughs> but now my brother is back. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay with him. It's okay if you want to do that. But if you're outside, don't hug your brother like that. You hear me? I didn't hug him. You're lying. I've seen it from the kitchen. I saw you jumped on your brother Ling like a monkey, hugging him tightly with your two feet above the ground. You were behaving nothing like a girl, huh? <laughs> what? What's wrong with me hugging my brother? There are others who do that. Go after them. I don't care about the others. You're my daughter, so listen to me. <laughs> look, look at him. Even your brother's laughing at you. He's not laughing at me. He's happy to see me, right? Stop talking, <laughs> just eat. <laughs> huh. Huh. <laughs> Be happy you can still hear me nagging. When you go to Beijing to study, you won't have the chance to hear me nag. So you cherish the moment now. <laughs> More soup. Rice for a soup later? No. I want my rice with soup. <laughs> you want your rice with soup? Cut that hmm. nonsense. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been back. Take a rest. Come on, eat this watermelon. Ah. <laughs> uh... You eat it. It's the sweetest part. Open up. You eat first. Come on, eat it. Oh! Tissue, tissue! I'll go get a tissue. kids I wanted to grow up but once I grew up childhood seems good dads were still young we'd just be kids with no worries Ling Xiao I have something to tell you I have something to tell you too. You go first. <laughs> Jen Jen! Huh? Dinner's ready. Call your brothers. Okay. Whoa! You dare to drink Dad's beer? I'm going to Singapore to study. What did you say? Even if my mom gets discharged, it'll take a long time before she can walk again. Little Orange refused to go with Uncle. If she leaves, my mom's mental state will get worse. Our school found a university in Singapore. A medical school checked my files and said they'd be willing to accept me. I'll be leaving next week. be with my mom. Didn't she leave you to Jan Jan? Didn't she abandon you? Why are you still looking after her? Little Orange is your sister, but what about Lee Jan Jan? 
What is wrong with you? Sucho, after I leave, I'm counting on you to take care of Chen Chen. You're counting on me? I'm going to England. I've been preparing various documents these days. I've taken Chao Wagwang, that bastard, for my father! Chao Wagwang, that bastard. What do you mean? What do I mean? When disaster comes, both of us are gonna flee. You're going back to your mother, and I'm going back to my father, and that makes us both ungrateful! Ungrateful bastards! Hey! Stop! What are you doing? Stop fighting! Stop it! Why are you fighting? Stop it! What's the matter with you? Why are you fighting? What happened? That's the way it is. All right, we'll wait until you come back, okay? Huh? It's all right. We're going to be fine, all right? Okay? Right, bye. Mm. Uh, Ling Xiao, uh, your dad's in Fuzhou. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow morning. We'll discuss it maybe when your dad comes back. Huh? There is nothing to discuss. You can't go. Jin Jin. You can't go either. If they're not going, well, the application time is over. You want them to repeat their senior year? Oh, yes! Come on in with me. We'll talk. No, I won't! I won't be saying yes anyway! Listen to me. I won't listen! They're not going. I don't agree! You silly girl. Didn't Zucho just say that he'll be back once he graduates from the university? Ling Xiao also said he's just going to Singapore to attend college. What's the difference between that and going to a college in Beijing? They're both three or four hours flights away. There's no difference. If there's no difference, why didn't they tell me? I'm getting really confused now. What on earth is going on with our family? Aren't those irresponsible adults outsiders? Ever since I was little, you always tell me that as long as we take care of each other and support each other, we are family! It doesn't matter what they think. As long as we know in our hearts who's good and close to us, we'll be all right in the end! Sh sure, yes, that's right, I did say that. But things are not that simple, okay? Huh? Look at you acting so angry. You're just making it even harder for your two brothers. I'm making it hard for them? What about me? Whatever decisions they make, they feel that there's no need to ask me for permission. And they don't need to keep their promises. I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't agree even if I tell you. Of course, I won't ever agree. Why would they ask you to take care of her? You're still just a student. Where are their adult relatives? <laughs> Because she's my mother. Hey. Oh. Ah. Jenjen. Jenjen.
child. We were never a real family. Isn't that right? No. <laughs> when you grow up, We'll be together forever. All right? You're lying. Maybe you both leave. You are no longer my brothers. Zucho? You... Jinjin Jin just... Well, she can't think things through right now. Give her some time. She will come around. I just feel sorry for her. Oh, there is nothing to feel sorry about. You've been together since you were little. You grew up together. You've never been apart. Now suddenly you two are leaving. It's just hard to let go. I can understand that. However, if you really think about it, when you grow up, you have to separate from each other. You'll get married. You'll have your own family, your own business, your own life. I won't marry. I'll stay with you forever. <laughs> You're being silly, kid. Every child will leave his parents when he grows up eventually. Would you want to live off of your parents? <laughs> and I'll stay with Lee Chan Chan. What if she gets married? She can't get married. What if she doesn't feel happy? <laughs> Zucho. All right, all right. Let's talk about it when you're a real grown-up, huh? <laughs> Dad, but I'm gone. What if someone bullies Lee Jen Jen? She must stand up for herself then. That goes for you too. When you go abroad, and we're not by your side, and someone bullies you, you'll have to stand up for yourself. There is no other way around it. Zucho, throughout one's life, 
there'll be a lot of sufferings. And the older you are, the more you're going to have to shoulder. Then one day, you'll realize that, no, oh, why am I carrying the whole world on my shoulders? <laughs> the whole world? Your parents, your wife, and your kids. Are they not your whole world? But what about the siblings? They'll have their own world, too. But in my world, it's enough I have you. Oh, Zucho. Don't think too much about it. Once life is like, uh... It's like a long-distance race. You need to save your energy. Save your energy for the second half of your life. Do you remember when your dad Ling moved here? And when I saw you for the first time? You were just this tall. <laughs> then all of a sudden, now you're like... Now <laughs> time flies. But now, looking back on those years, looking all the way through, I've already lived most of my life. So don't think too much about it. Just take this step forward. Besides, didn't you say that you'll come back as soon as you graduate? Huh? What's on your mind? Just tell me. Huh? Dad. Are you really not bad? That I'm leaving for England? Not at all. Zucho, all I want for you is to have a good and brilliant future. Okay? I really hope you can learn something you like and do something you want to do. Something that you're passionate about. Then again, you're just moving out for a couple of years. You must come back here once you graduate. You hear me? Jen, Jen, lunch is ready. Jen. Wh where is she? What? You're going to your grandma's house? But you're on your way there? So that means you won't attend your summer training classes? Why didn't you tell me about it hey, in advance? Hey, what are we having? Starving. Dad. Hey. Uh, what? We thought you were just... Your face. What happened? Nothing. But don't you have that, uh, carving contest to attend? You're not going to attend that either? Oh, boy. All right, fine. Call me when you arrive at your grandma's house, okay? We'll talk then. Bye. Hi, Chow. Jen Jen went to her grandma's house? Yes. But Ling Xiao just got back yesterday. What's wrong with your face? Tell me. You just got home yesterday. Did you two fight? It's all right, Hopping. Just calm down. After we finish this meal, Ling Xiao will tell you all about it. Tell me about what? He just came back yesterday. Then these two made trouble? Don't take them as criminals. Go wash your hands. You're the worst uncle on earth! Huh? What? You won't take care of her, so my son has to do it? And you're sending him to some Singapore college? How did you come up with that idea? 
You think you're powerful and can arrange everything as you like? Cut the crap, huh? Has Ling Xiao taken anything from Chan Ting's new family or from your family? You didn't take care of him. Now something happens, he becomes your son? You're just treating us like fools, you stupid bastard! You want me to say something nice? Well, I am being nice. I'm telling you, everyone in your family is so disgusting! You're all so selfish and all so arrogant! Yes, I'm talking about you! A hard life? Huh? For you? Oh, so you're going after my son? Don't tell me you feel sorry for him. When your mother passed away, Ling Xiao, her grandson, knelt for seven days, while your daughter Chen Shu didn't even stay for three days, and you sent her back to school. Now you're telling me you feel sorry for my son? That it's for his own good? From now on, you're no longer Ling Xiao's uncle. You are no longer our relative. We don't have to see each other. Calm down, huh? Don't be so angry. application form. Can you change it? The med school in Singapore has accepted me. This is no small thing! Oh. Why didn't you call me and discuss it with me? You are going to study abroad. Abroad! Leave the country! You realize that? And why would you go to a medical school? Is it because... Of your mom's accident? Huh? No. Then tell me why! Come on. Why are you throwing a tantrum at Ling Xiao? Just take it easy. This is your fault! You spoiled the kid! He decided without discussing with me! Huh? He didn't tell you either! There's no use talking about it now. What's done is done. And he's already sad about this, so just stop it. Calm down. <sighs> Too moved, <laughs> but accept my sincere love. <sighs> we can't be together for the next six months. Who's gonna wash my socks now? I'm gonna miss you so much. Love you. Kiss, kiss.
就像是一。